Hello viewers, welcome to Spoonful Easy Cooking. Today I am going to show you a very easy uh, side dish recipe which you can store for one or two months. So here I am going to show for the first time a non-veg uh, dish. So this is nothing but a dried prawns uh, chutney which you can store uh, in an airtight container. So this is during lockdown period. You may not get fresh uh, non-vegetarians when you wish to eat something. So here you can just store it, a dry prawns powder and keep it whenever you feel like. Just have it with stream rice or any curry or anything what you wish to. So without much delay, let me show you what are the ingredients, what is required for dry prawns powder. So here I have taken very well washed dry prawns. Uh, I have removed the head and the tail and nicely washed in 2-3 times in a bowl of water. See, when you go to the supermarket, what you find is this kind of prawns packet, the dry prawns, wherein head and the tail is there. So just to show you, I kept one packet. You uh, remove it, clean it very well and just spread it in a plate or a tissue paper and dry it simply like this or put it in a sieve and dry it well. Then we will dry roast it. Here I have taken 3 to 4 springs of fresh curry leaves. Here is the coconut, fresh grated coconut. I have taken, if you have taken one bowl of prawns, just half of it. Half of, half bowl of fresh grated coconut. This is uh, red chilli, uh, dry red chilli. I have taken here 4 to 5. This is according to your spice level. In these kind of powders, little spice always tastes good. So I have taken 4-5 red chilli. This is a small size of tamarind. Uh, all seeds, everything removed. Tamarind. Here is shallots. Shallots is the small onions what you get it. Shallots I have taken 4 to 5. Even uh, shallots taste good in the curries and everywhere uh, in this powder. But uh, if you take more then the shelf life of the chutney goes down. So I have taken only 4 to 5. If you want to instantly eat and uh, so then you can take more of shallots. Here is 4 to 5 garlic cloves. Then what we need is asafoetida or the hing and salt. So without much delay let me start the and show you how to just lift the gas. Make sure your gas is low to medium not on high flame. Let the pan get a bit hot. Here we add the red chilli first and roast, dry roast it. Dry roast the red chilli. Yeah, so this is dry roast for 2 minutes. And let's take out, you can get this flavor of this chilli. Now we dry roast the prawns. So when you dry roast the prawns, there is a prominent... Uh, you know aroma of it so this let's dry roast in low to medium flame always don't make it burn the taste and the flavor of the powder goes off so let's dry roast it this way for two minutes the whole house is now nicely aromated with this dry prawns now everybody will wait for this chutney to be ready. And the hunger will go up. <laughs> so this is almost done. No need to make it too brown. So this just dry roast it and it's ready to keep it aside. Let's keep it. The stage is it will become little crispy this way. See, See you can hear the voice. So that's all. Now all the rest of the ingredients let's add it to the same pan and dry roast. Here goes the curry leaves. Here goes I've just thinly sliced these shallots and garlic as well. And let's just stir it. After few minutes we will add the tamarind as well. So this we will Stir in until it becomes golden brown. Don't turn it too brownish. I'll just show you the stage where you should switch off the gas. So just keep continuously stir it. Don't leave. 
keep the pan at all idle. You have to continuously stir so that everything evenly gets roasted. This we have stirred in. See, almost it's become brownish in color. Now we add the tamarind as well. Yes, just, just give a mix this way and keep stirring it. Don't make it too dark brown, otherwise you may get a bitter taste. So I have switched off the gas and just uh, stirring in the pan itself. Don't make it too dark brown. Yes, that's enough. See, this is the stage. This is the stage of the coconut and everything. Let's keep it for cooling complete. Let's cool down it completely. Yes. Let this cool down completely. It needs to completely cool down before we make a powder. Yeah, so it was completely cooled down. I kept it for cooling. Now we add the heat to it. Two to three pinches. It helps for good digestion and no stomach issues also will be there if you put hink. And salt accordingly. First we will add one or one and a half teaspoon and check. Once it is powdered then we will check for the salt again. And this powder needs to be coarse grind. Don't make it fine. Coarse grind. This way. Don't make it you know, in small intervals, just keep a grind. Yeah, slowly, let's open and check. See? Now, at this stage, let us check for the salt. Yeah, we need little more salt to it. Mm, it's tasting really nice. This is my first time I'm having non-veg after my Easter. <laughs> Not buying non-vegetarian at all. Again, little more time. Yes, here is our dry prawns chutney or the powder which you can have it as a side dish. It's turned out to be really amazing. You can store this for at least one and a half months to two months in room temperature in an airtight container. It's really tasting good. I'm waiting for my lunch to have now. Yes, here we go. This is the dry prawns chutney. Everyone must try this way. Keep it in an airtight storage container. And whenever you serve, make sure the spoon you are adding to your container should be completely dry. If it is wet or having moisture, the chutney may get spoiled. So make sure the spoon is dry and serve it to your family and do let me know how you like it in the comment box. So if you like this video, do press a bell, uh, thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And do press the bell icon for further recipes. Till then, bye-bye.